Yes, I will bring it to the States next year. Cavaca, Antonio Bragonetto. Here we rock and roll. Antonio Bragonetto did this dance last time. Took him 15 seconds, took him 10 seconds to finish his last guy. That's right. Yep. Now, was that a takedown or was that a guard pull? Well, looks like a guard pull. Guard pull. Question in the chat room, is there an absolute bracket? Uh, there certainly is, but uh, it is over. You know, the only thing remaining in the absolutes this year is the fight between Bernardo Fadia and uh, Rodolfo Vieira. Who already fought once today in the heavy yes. weight finals. Yeah, our two open weight contests are next. Right. So Kavaka won the ultra heavyweight last year. He is the returning gold medalist. Braganetto, for his part, came in third last year. Yeah, Kavaka sucks the leg through. Uh, Braganetto right now has a good defense. Figure four is the leg. Uh, that left arm needs to come underneath the head and cross face. I'm, I'm not sure where it is because Kavaka looks like he's getting a little bit of lift on this. He's going to get his hips underneath there. He may be able to put him to the other side, which would not be good for Kroganetto. So, yeah, he's sort of abandoned ship. He's going to roll upside down, try to maybe roll through again. Kroganetto... Yeah, uh, Kavaka's finding the room to roll through there, so he's going to so, roll again. Somebody's asking where Hodger Gracie was this year. I believe Hodger Gr Gracie is in London this year. Yes. Now, Bruno may want to extract that leg. Because Kavaka is known to take a couple feet home with him. So... One thing that's nice about Kavaka is that for an ultra heavyweight, he's awfully mobile and very yeah. flexible. His guard is awesome. Yeah, he's, he's very fast and very aggressive. And there was a time when we had guys like Big Mac, Gabriel Vela, which was just like last year. Yeah. That things got really kind of slow around now. Although I have to say Vela is a freaking torpedo when he wants to move. <laughs> really? Yeah. He really fires off. He's very fast. When he wants to move, he moves fast. So now I think we may want to see Braganetto. He might bring this right hand up after he feels like he's over the knees and get a collar grip so he can start pulling himself up. He's going to step to his right, it looks like. Yeah, or to his left, excuse me. His right leg is going to step backwards if he can't get over this knee. Trying to get over the knee. If he can't get over it, he may step backwards. back. Wow. Yeah, that was really nice. He's going to try to slide the left hook in, the, the bottom hook, if uh, Kavaka keeps turning there. He missed it a little, but he's going to pull that pull that leg through. There goes his, his hook. Left hook is in. Wow. Try to push this right hook in. You know, he would need that elbow to yeah, come back to the knee to prevent that right hook from coming in. But yeah. He's going to posture up on all fours. Going to hug the leg and the head together. It's his Nice move, but with, without the, uh, the other hook inside, it's a bit difficult to break him down. So if he hugs his head with his left arm and holds the leg with the right, like a cradle, he can roll him through. Kavaka goes down anyway.
Yeah, remaining matches today, we've got uh, the open weight women's, which will bring out Gabby Garcia and Bia Mesquita. And uh, in the men's, which will be the last match of today of the 2011 Worlds, we'll see Hidalgo Vieira versus Bernardo Fadia here in a moment. Yeah. And I got to, I mean, at this point, you know, we've been asking ourselves, can Bernardo Fadia do something different against Adolfo Vieira? Um, at this point, after seeing him do the same in three matches now and losing the same way three times, I think it's still a little late in the game for us to expect anything out of him. Yeah. You know, wildly yeah. different. Yeah. And if he was going to do something different, he would have done it by now. I think so as well. Now, there's a swift move. Braganetto really putting a lot of pressure on Kavaka. Yeah, he's now up 7 0. Mounted, yeah. He's got the pass points and the mount points, and he's riding high up there, working this arm over. He's going to work both elbows up high, choose an arm. There he comes. See, those are the legs of Kavaka we were talking about. Yeah, but we have to be, he has to be real careful here. He doesn't get reaping the knee right there. This happened earlier in a similar situation. And right now, he is technically reaping the knee. Yeah, he's reaping the knee technically, so I don't know. We'll let him go with it. Yeah, those legs really complicate things when you're that flexible. Yeah. You know? It's a really great advantage. And always refreshing in guys this big because it's so unusual. Score is 7-0 after almost seven minutes. All for Antonio Braganetto in the black gi of Gracie Elite. Coupon codes to answer their question in the chat room is 2011 worlds, all lowercase, all one word. So 2011 worlds. Now we are in the 50 50. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's, that's, this actually can, yeah, he's got a Kimura here. Braganetto's got to be careful because he can't roll. He cannot roll because his legs are a bit stuck. He's in a, this is a really funky position right now. That's nasty. Yeah, that is a wacky position because he's sort of stuck. Coupon code is for 15% off at uh, Budo Videos, guys. Two minutes left. I, th I, th I think that's worry on Neto's face. I think it should be worry because uh, his arm is stuck and he cannot, he really can't roll too much. Now, and and Kavaka's keeping him nice and close with that left hand yeah. and the collar. He's yeah. not getting him out. I think he should stay on this arm. Now he's going to the other arm. Yeah, this is this is a very awkward position for the shoulder for Braganetto, right? Wow. Now uh -oh. he's gonna go Gogo Plata. And that's choking. He just wants his left arm back. That's yeah, what he yeah. Cares about. Yeah, I mean I, I think Kavaka should stay on the Kimura on the other arm over there. Yeah. It's funny, somebody in the chat room just said he's reaping the shoulder. <laughs> he certainly is. <laughs> he might be guilty of that. Yeah, I, I think he should just go for the Kimura, try to keep it a little more simple. Do your knees do that stuff? Yeah, that's some great, I mean, here he goes. He's got only 45 seconds left. Yeah, Kavaka needs to focus here and just kind of go for that arm like you're yeah. saying. The rest is a distraction right yeah. now. 
Yeah, I, I like, he should try that arm. I think. Eight seconds. Dodged a bullet there at the wow, end. Wow, yeah, he? I think so. Yeah. That that was a tricky position with the shoulder. Yeah. And Kavaka seems upset of himself out there. Yeah. <laughs> so Braganetto takes home the ultra heavy gold medal for 2011. Ladies and gentlemen,